These are fighters with the Red Sea Afar Democratic Organization training near the Eritrean border. They're one of around 10 groups supported by Ethiopia. Just 10? How about a couple of dozen? The majority of the so-called opposition groups located in Ethiopia are far from being a group. Most of these so-called opposition groups are just two or three members in number. These few guys in pink that Al Jazeera is presenting as a force to be reckoned with were insignificant and quite frankly, pathetic. The reason for making this video is not to talk about the guys in pink, but Al Jazeera's blatant unethical straight-up propaganda. The guys in pink are merely used as a camouflage, a smoke screen for Al Jazeera's propaganda. This report from Al Jazeera is mainly about the frustration, depression, and failure of the shaky Ethiopian regime, who had worked tirelessly for the past decade and a half to isolate and weaken Eritrea. A two-year war between Ethiopia and Eritrea ended in 2000. The Eritrean government, considered to be one of the most repressive in the world, has gained some powerful Gulf allies in recent times. Who are these so-called powerful allies? What's wrong with Eritrea developing good relations with its neighbors and other countries around the world? Is it something alien for countries around the world to develop mutual beneficial cooperation amongst one another? What's all the hoopla about? It's been 17 years since the war between Ethiopia and Eritrea ended, but there's still no agreement on the demarcation of borders. Let's stop right there. Here's a straight up lie. A total shameful life from Al Jazeera. But there's still no agreement, still no agreement, still no agreement, still no agreement on the demarcation of borders. But there is an agreement on the demarcation of borders. In 2000, Eritrea and Ethiopia signed a peace agreement and accepted that the decision would be final and binding. In 2002, the Eritrea Ethiopia Boundary Commission confirmed that the flashpoint of the so called border war, the Eritrean town, bad me did in fact belong to Eritrea. The Ethiopian regime till this day continues to illegally occupy sovereign Eritrean territories. So not only is Al Jazeera lying about there not being a demarcation agreement, but is also trying to cover up the fact that Ethiopia has failed to abide by the final and binding agreement that exists, and the fact that Ethiopia continues to illegally occupy sovereign Eritrean territories, violating international law in the process. Analysts say the war in Yemen has strengthened Eritrea's relations with some Gulf states and made the challenge for opposition groups even harder. Who are these analysts? Just don't tell me, one or all of these analysts of yours are Ethiopians based in Ethiopia. With this uh, enthusiastic uh, embrace of the regime in Asmara. Surprise, surprise, an Ethiopian, and not just any Ethiopian, a regular contributor to Al Jazeera English. I think that would have been a better description, regular contributor to Al Jazeera English, rather than Amani Africa Media and Research, who most have never heard of. With this uh, enthusiastic uh, embrace of the regime in Asmara by the Saudi and the Emirati, uh, basically it would get uh, a new lease of life, so to speak, uh, and uh, thereby the balance uh, in its favor. Uh, would become higher. <laughs> what balance? There is no comparison. Eritrea is a country with tens of thousands of troops, while the guys in pink are an estimated 50 to 80 ragtag militias, with a number of underaged kids put into these pink pajamas in order to boost the numbers. They are insignificant and have never even been considered as a real threat to Eritrea. No one knows them in Eritrea. They are located in Ethiopia and only represent themselves and the Ethiopian regime. So for this Ethiopian, and Al Jazeera, to suggest that Eritrea's relations with the Saudis, or Emirates, or any country around the world, is somehow a blow, or detrimental to a so-called rebel group, composed of an estimated 50 to 80 ragtag militias, filled with underage kids, and that has absolutely no presence in Eritrea, is just too funny. It shows the utter desperation, of Al Jazeera, and exposes its disgraceful shameful propaganda. The Saudis have the money and the Emiratis are helping the Eritrean government too. We want them to stop supporting them. This puppet is merely being used as a vessel to vent the frustration of the Ethiopian regime. As mentioned earlier, this propaganda report from Al Jazeera has nothing to do with the guys in pink. It's all about Ethiopia and its failed policies. 
The Ethiopian regime's policy of trying to isolate Eritrea has miserably failed, more and more countries are engaging with Eritrea, and the Ethiopian regime is not happy and is deeply depressed by this fact. So basically they're now begging the international community, to do something about it. These men say they are determined to fight for their political and cultural rights. But with Eritrea's new powerful allies, that fight could be a lot more difficult now. Ha, 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 ha.